like a regular, um, like a regular school, like Five A, for example, Lakewood, one of those big schools. The teachers really are not going to pay attention to you as much because there's a whole bunch of other thousands of kids who go there. One piece, well, for my one piece, uh, I wanted to talk about. Uh, it was a picture I had took for uh, Mr. Boo's class. It was photography and technology. So basically, uh, I had took this picture in the in the, in the basketball gym where we play, and it said, uh, "You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take." Like that was a really big quote for me because there's a lot of people who have potential and like a lot of things that their friends are like, "Nah, don't do that." Or I don't really think that looks good on you, but honestly, if you pursue whatever that is, honestly, you can have like a bright side of it. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, one more thing for basically my throughout high school reflection. Uh, I wanted to talk about my transcripts. If you could look on the transcripts, you'll see like the overall GPA rise. Uh, you can see the 1.0 GPA my freshman year. I didn't have any credit from Hylia Gardens because I didn't even go to school like that. I missed like 67 something days. I was late like every day. So at Denver East, I didn't make it on time one day. And also, we was going through like a big financial income at, at the time. Like, And like I wanted to talk about my transcripts because I felt like my transcripts really represent me halfly on the 11 through 12 side, keeping making an academic scholarship and being an academic scholar, uh, having a 3.75 above GPA. Like that really impacted me because I knew if I would have done that throughout all my high school years, I really would have. Honestly, I felt like I really could have been graduating early or not even that, just having a lot of scholarships coming this way and a lot of colleges looking up. Uh, is there any questions that you guys have? Good. I'm proud of you, son.